Hi guys, welcome to GVS Academy. In this video, we'll see how to integrate PayPal payment gateway in your WooCommerce store so that customers can purchase online from this website and you can charge uh, customers from their PayPal account or else you can directly, they can also pay directly from their credit or debit card. So before starting the video, let me show you how this configuration is right now. Right now, these are the products, right? If the customer comes here, and he has an option to add to cart and then he'll go to view cart and then here again he will have to proceed to checkout he has shipping taxes everything is configured and now here we have only cash on delivery as a payment option but what we want is we we need to have an another option called as paypal checkout so that customers can pay from their paypal account or else they can pay they should be able to pay directly from their debit card or credit card even if they don't have any paypal account still they should be able to pay right so let me show you what i have configured let me come let me go to dashboard and enable this paypal checkout and click on save changes and now let's see what has been updated over here just to refresh it we just had one cash on delivery option now we have one more option called as paypal if customer clicks on this paypal account paypal option and then clicks on this button he will have this payment option well so it is asking me to fill up all these details let me go to these are the customer details right so let me go to card page and show you a quick demo without wasting any time so here even in card page we have this button and as you just now saw in our checkout page also we have the button enabled now and also we'll have a buy now button in each and every product page let's say let's open some product see now a button has been enabled and also customers can directly purchase from their credit or debit card or else they can purchase from their paypal account or else they can add to cart and purchase it uh, with a usual flow like going into add to cart and then uh, from that proceed to check out all those things or else they can quickly purchase from here as well if they click on debit or credit card they they will just have to add these details billing information and click on continue to purchase the uh, product that's it so it is a great option so let me show you how to integrate it now so first you need to do is first thing that you need to do is you need to download and install this plugin paypal checkout plugin in your woocommerce store by default you will have these option called as direct bank transfer check payments cash on delivery paypal standard paypal standard is also fine but still uh, paypal checkout plugin is more advanced because you don't have to leave your a customer don't have to doesn't have to leave your website while purchasing right if you uh, enable this paypal standard option what it will do is it will just add a button and you will be your customers will be redirected to paypal website to purchase the product so it is not a good user interface so we'll just download and install this paypal checkout plugin so how to do that just go to plugins click on add new and then here search for paypal checkout here paypal checkout from woocommerce you need to download this plugin and since i have already installed and activated this plugin it is so it is uh, showing it's already active so you just need to click on install now and activate it right as soon as you activate it once uh, just to verify you need to go to woocommerce under woocommerce you have this option called as settings under settings you just need to go to payments tab click on payments tab and you will see the new option called as paypal checkout this option will come automatically and then here just make sure it is enabled and then click on setup or manage right if it is enabled then you will have this option called as manage if it is disabled you will have an option called as setup whatever it is you need to click on here click here right 
once you open this before we configure here what you need to do is log in into your PayPal account. If you don't have a, your PayPal account, you need to create it. It's free. So it will not take much time, just 10 to 15 minutes and uh, your account will be created. So complete your formalities and uh, create your free account with PayPal. And then what you need to do is go to tools and under tools, you have this option called as all tools. There are two important steps that we need to do. First, you need to uh, approve your system, PayPal system, to accept payments from online stores. And second thing is, you need to collect API credentials. So let me do the first thing. Under tools, we just opened all tools, and here under all tools in sidebar, you just need to click on integrate PayPal. And under in this integrate PayPal option, you have this option called as API credentials. So open this. Now, once you are into this page, simply scroll down and you have this option called as accept or block payments from your online stores before setting up APIs. So what, right now what we are doing is, here is we have downloaded and installed PayPal plugin, checkout plugin, right? Here we need to integrate the gateway in the sense API, we need to set up the API keys. Before we do that, we need to tell PayPal that you need to that uh, I approve to accept payments from this store. So how to do that? Here, under this option, accept or block payments, you need to click on PayPal, pay, uh, manage PayPal checkout settings. Once you click that, here you need to select the first option, accept PayPal payments before API permissions or credentials are set up. You can complete API stair setup later and then click on submit. Once this process is done, now you are good to get all the API credentials from your PayPal and add it here. So where to find your API credentials? Again, go to tools, under tools, all tools. Scroll down and integrate PayPal. And under this, you have this option called this API credentials. Open this. Now, scroll down and you'll have this option called as NVP SOAP API integrations. Classic, right? Here you need to click on manage API credentials. Open this. Now, you will have access to all your API keys. This is just a verification uh, code. You'll They'll just check if uh, you are the right person to provide access to API credentials. And you need to make sure you'll have you'll get some OTP or something then you just need to enter your OTP and verify your ownership of the account yeah because these API credentials are sensitive information so it is just a security check by PayPal once it is passed you will have access to your API keys. So exactly like this, you'll be able, you'll be seeing your screen. And here, these are the credentials, API username, API password, and signature. Once you click on this, you need to copy all this API username, password, and signature. All these three details and save it somewhere in Notepad or something, secure in, in a secure place. And then copy API username and go to your admin dashboard. And under payments, WooCommerce, settings, payments, under set, payments, we just opened uh, PayPal checkout, manage, right? And here, scroll down. And under this subheading called as API credentials, you need to add your live API username. Just paste your live API username here. And then password. And then live API signature. Paste it over here. These three things are mandatory, so you need to do it you'll get all these three details from here. And then once you have copied it in a secure location, then you can click on done. And come back here. And then you can customize your checkout page by adding title or logo, header, page style. These are the optionals and you can check out, you can explore these options by yourself. It is uh, self-explanatory. 
what was important what is most important is api username password and signature once these thing these three are done just scroll down and then click on save changes these all extra options that you can just play around and then once you save then you will be able to see this button is enabled and if you you just need to uh, check whether it is working fine or not just uh, open a incognito tab and uh, try to make the payment uh, don't try to make the payment just test if the buttons are working fine right so if you click this button this pop-up has to come up if this pop-up doesn't come up and if you get some 1003 error or something then it means your api credentials are not correctly added into your e-commerce store so you just need to re-enter your e uh, api credentials once again right and then here now since it is working fine I just changed the browser, right? Yeah, this pop up. Here, they, your customers will have this option to log in into their PayPal account and then pay, or else they can directly pay from credit card or debit card. If they click on here, they'll have the, they'll have all those options to add their card details and then make the purchase. They'll have they can see the amount details on the top over here like this, right? these details are uh, taken directly from your e-commerce store so it means that the e-commerce store is uh, accurately integrated with your paypal gateway i mean paypal gateway is accurately integrated with your e-commerce store so congratulations this is how you integrate your paypal in your e-commerce store so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video thank you